Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about gray PVC pipe, both electrical conduit and uh, gray plumbing pipe. Now, I've made a lot of bows with both white and gray PVC pipe, and generally I find that I prefer white PVC pipe, just because white PVC pipe has you know, greater performance, and uh, where I am, it's not as affected by heat. So to show you what I mean, here is a white PVC pipe bow. And if you can see, the handle here is actually set further back than the tips. So what this bow has is it has about a 4 inch reflex. This gives it a little added performance. Now when I made this bow, it had about 5 inches of reflex. It lost about an inch. And that's called sh that's called uh, set. You know, pretty much all bows are susceptible to set. But the thing with white PVC pipe is once it sets and it has that bend to it, it keeps it and it stays there pretty consistently. Now this bow, on the other hand, is creating electrical conduit, and if you can see, the handle actually sits about three inches in front of the tips. So what that means is that this bow has an extreme amount of what's called string follow, meaning that it's set is so bad to the point where the bend of the bow follows the string. And this is going to rob the bow of performance. But this is indicative of what will happen the first couple times you draw a gray PVC pipe bow. Now this bow, which is made of white pipe, even when I've had it strung for long periods of time, you know, I've, I've accidentally left it in a hot car for about a week, and it still returns to this shape. Now, with white PVC pipe, the dangers are that it, you know, it's susceptible to UV damage, and it can be brittle. So if you're living in a colder place, I'd say any place where the temperature is below about 70, you want to stick, you, you want to be careful with white PVC pipe because it has a tendency to get brittle. You need to baby it a little bit more. If you're really concerned, then use gray PVC pipe in those situations. The reason why I don't use gray PVC pipe anymore in Hawaii is that if you leave it out in the sun for about half an hour, it'll lose its shape completely. It'll go completely soft. You could actually leave it outside and then flatten the limbs after it's been sitting in the sun for about half an hour. Which, you know, the gray pipe is a lot more resilient in colder weather. So if you're in a colder environment and you want a backyard shooting bow or a target bow, just make it with gray PVC pipe. And if you're in a hotter environment, I'd say stick to white PVC pipe. And my personal recommendation, if you're going to go hunting, just stick to white PVC pipe in general because you get a little extra um, performance. You know, this bow is 40 pounds and it gets about 150 to 160 FPS. This bow is 70 pounds and it gets about 120 to 130 FPS. So you can just see the difference in performance there. So that's it. Thanks for watching.